So this right here, this is my old style chicken rotation system. This is how I rotate chicken on a very small scale in this third of an acre on the back side of my yard here. It works, it's functional, but there's some cons to it. The biggest con being this fencing right here. This fencing one, it's not cheap, it's not super expensive, but you have to buy a lot of it. This is permanent, which has its good and has its bad. If you wanna just do something else in this space temporarily, you can't do it because of the permanent nature of the fence. The third disadvantage, at least for me, this fence doesn't look that good. There's a lot of this welded wire fence up here. It doesn't look that good. And number four, it's cumbersome. My kids are up here. They're kind of tripping on it sometimes. I'm always worried they're gonna poke their eye on one of the ends. It's not the best for little walkers. And number five, I didn't really design this system as good as I could have in the beginning, but that's okay because that was my initial experiment. It was the initial trial system, and it's what I had to do to get to where I am today. So what I've done is I've improved upon this system to something that's newer, easier, less infrastructure, and I think will be a better long-term solution that a lot of people could duplicate bringing layers and maybe even broilers into the veg operation. Stay tuned and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is version 2.0 of my mobile chicken system. It's something I'm calling the chicken train. Think chicken tractor, but not really. A chicken tractor would be a container like this, various sizes that the chickens go under and you just move this down the pasture every day or move this across the land every day. That concept works well because you only need one, they can be contained in a small space and you can move them across the landscape. But that's not what this system is. What this system is, is effectively a series of chicken tractors end to end to end that you only move when you're moving the whole row to a new set of cover crop. So initially, they just all go back to back, and then when you move them, you move the whole row over or forward instead of moving each individual tractor one by one. What's the advantage of that? Well, for a situation like mine, you can have a long, skinny length cover, where making a single chicken tractor three feet wide, 25 feet long, that's not gonna work. So what I had to do was break that 25 foot long chicken tractor up into a series of sections. Here's what one of those sections look like, looks like. Now this is the initial, what I'll call the 2.0 version of this. There was a 1.0 version of this to get to here. I'll talk about that in a later video. It's made out of PVC, just temporarily because PVC was easy to find, it's easy to build with, given that there's a lot of elbows and connectors. What I have is essentially a four foot by two foot rectangle here. There's no bottom on it and the top of it is chicken wire. The sides of it are also chicken wire and the ends are open. Now, I use chicken wire because I had a lot of it left over from my very original chicken system that I had up here, but you could use welded wire. It'd be a little bit heavier, so if I was gonna do this again, I would use chicken wire. What I'll do essentially when I move the chickens, and I'll show that in the next video, is I'll just take these, set them down like this, and have a series of them end to end to end. Then, at the end of the week, when I wanna move the chickens to a new run, I simply pick up this, move it over, set it down like this on a new bed. What that does is it allows me now to have total access to the old bed with no cumbersome fencing around, and it allows me to totally protect the chickens in the new run. So at any given time up here, the only set of fencing that I have over a bed is right here. The dimensions in this, and I'll show you how I build one, I'll go over that in, a, in another episode, but the basic idea here, two feet high, four feet long, 30 inches wide, because I want to be able to cover a standard 30 inch market farming style bed. As you can see here, this is just four sections. They're not connected, they're just end to end right here and it can go down the chickens can walk all the way through it and then the end down here just has actual chicken wire fencing on the end to keep them in so i need to make a few more sections to get my full length but if we step back here it's just a bunch of independent sections that piece together and tee right into the main run right there so the main run there is permanent they come across that little tunnel into this run, and I'll simply, when they're done with this, pick up these, 
set them onto this run and just move them around. And that's version 2.0, chicken train, working. So what are my initial thoughts on this system and how am I liking it? Overall, I'm liking it. Liking it so much that this permanent fencing right here, this is gonna go away. I've been using this about a month, month and a half, on and off on selected runs. I pulled out some of the fencing because I wanted to see if I really liked this before I pulled it all out. It would be an absolute nightmare to put it all back in. So I wanted to make sure this worked first and it's worked pretty well. So I'm gonna be building these out. I'm iterating to version three, which will be made out of metal. There's a lot of ways you could, could construct these. I think Bill Mollison may have said it best. The only limits to what's possible are the limits in your imagination. So with these, really, anything's possible. So version 3.0 of these will be built out of metal. I'll be building a series of these. Probably have eight or nine of them to cover what, at the end of the day, will be a 50-inch bed. It'll be a long bed. I think at the end of the day, it's going to provide a solution to mix layers with market gardening. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned in the next video and I'll show you how I move them using this new system. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be nice, be thankful, and do the work.